Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say all praise and all glory be to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachak Wadash. And of course, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Most all over the world. Blessings to the hopeful elect, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. <clears throat> and um, pretty much, I'm just going to go into a you know into a little lesson here, you know, dealing with you know uh, the Lord and how He's coming back because here it is, it's 2021. And, you know, the vision, you know, the scriptures speak about in Habakkuk that the vision is yet for an appointed time. All right. And one of the main visions, which are the prophecies in the scriptures that we're supposed to be hastening the day towards. And again, 2021 is hastening the day of the coming of our Lord. Yeah, how about Shemiah Washai, you know, so <clears throat> one of the main prophecies that we're about to experience down here on the earth is pretty much Yahweh Washai coming back with the angels. All right. And, um. In fact, let's open up with Matthew chapter 24. Alright, this is who the world ignorantly holds Jesus Christ, okay? This is Matthew 24 and 30. It says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. All the tribes of the earth are going to be mourning, man. Alright, that's why the scripture says in Amos 5 and 18, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. For what end is it? For what is it end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So like, you have to close this window as soon as you start a video. You've got guys that are just chucking shit into a some sort of skip. Creating all this racket, man. That's just Satan. <clears throat> Alright. So let me read that again from the top. It says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. The Son of Man, right, is talking about our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai, in whom he's going to come and deliver us in these last days, man. It says, all right, it says, and he, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So the Lord is going to come back as a force to be reckoned with, man. All right, vengeance belongeth unto the Lord, like the scripture says. So the Lord ain't coming back to hand out daffodils and sunflowers, man. All right, he ain't coming back to sit your babies on his lap. He ain't coming back to sing lullabies. He ain't coming back for none of that. He's coming back to destroy, you know, the, the, the rebellious of our people. All right, the wicked ass Israelites out here that want to do what they want to do, all right, that don't want to repent. And he's also coming back to, you know, lay hands on Esau as well, man. All right, grab up the elites, throw, slap chains on the elites, like it says in the scriptures. All right, it says, and he shall say, he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Now, when you go into this word elect, all right, because this is uh, contrary to the Christian church and what they, they teach, that everyone can be saved. That's not what the scripture is talking about, all right? Because when you go into the Greek word for elect here, it's eklektos. You can clearly see it on the screen, right? And it says, picked out or chosen by Yahweh, all right? Chosen by God, the Most High, Yahweh, all right? To obtain what? Salvation through Hamashiach, which is Yahweh Shai, the anointed. That's what Christ means. It means the anointed, all right? <clears throat> And then here it says Christians, which in the Hebrew will be Hamashayakim, right? Which be which means followers of the anointed, which is Yahweh Shai, which we follow after the ways of Yahweh Shai, right? We believe in Yahweh Shai. We worship Yahweh Shai, okay? Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? In the name of Yahweh Shai, okay? That's Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father in the name, which is Bar Hashem in the Hebrew, right? Um, Yahweh Shai, right? Which is He Deliverer, is Nomen Omen. And Yahweh means he to be or he exists. All right. That's the name of the heavenly father. All right. It says called. It says chosen or elect of Yahweh. Okay. So you have to be chosen or picked. Right. It says the Messiah is called elect as appointed by the Most High Yahweh to the most ex exalted office conceivable. It says choice. It says to select, i.e. the best of its kind or class. Okay. Basically, the best of the Israelites, man, because, you know, when you're going to have it to where, you know, Yahweh Shai said, you're still going to have people out here that want to do, you know, do after their own mindset, um, do what they want to do, even when the Lord comes back. And that's why the Lord said, and this is written in red, showing you that it's the words of our Lord, right? This is Luke 19 and 27. It says, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. And that's all the proud of our people that want to. Follow after the intents of their own heart. All right, they're stiff necked, man. They don't want to, you know, worship Yahweh Shai. They want to do what they want to do. So they guess what? The Lord said, Look, bring hither and slay them before me. And that's what the Lord's going to do when he comes back. 
further to prove that point, let's get Isaiah 66 and 15 and see how the Lord, exactly how the Lord is coming back. All right. This is Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger. So the Lord is going to be angry when he comes back, man. Okay. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. He's going to be a very angry so-called black man. All right. And he's going to be riding upon that father ship, all right, which what the so-called white man calls UFOs, or they call them UAPs, unidentified aerial aerial phenomena. All right, well, we know them them chariots, what's in them chariots, are some angels, man. And that's how Yahweh Shai is coming back on that fat, on that on that father ship that day. And Ezra saw that, and he said it was like a like a mountain, and he couldn't tell where it began to where the, the chariot ended, man. That's how big the ship that our Lord and Savior is coming back on. All right, it says, and his rebuke with flames of fire, for by his fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the Lord is coming back to do a lot of killing. <clears throat> all right, when he comes back, he's going to come back with fire and by his sword to plead with all flesh. And the word for plead there in that scripture is shapat, which means to judge. So the Lord is going to start judging, you know, our people, man. All right, as it says in Hebrews um, and the other nations, right? This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30, right? But this is who the Lord's going to jack up first. It says, for we know him that have said, vengeance belongeth unto me. I will, I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people, right? For it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. All right, so people ain't ready for when the Lord comes back, okay? Um, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, right? Um, <clears throat> let me get that scripture. There you go. This is this is the one I wanted. First Peter chapter four verse seventeen. It says, "For time for time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the power Yahweh." And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? So there you go, man. So and this, you know, in order for you to obey the gospel, you gotta believe. You gotta have the gift of faith. All right. But this word has to be mixed with faith. All right. If you ain't got the gift of faith mixed with the word, then you ain't gonna believe. All right. And it goes on to say, and if the if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So if the righteous is gonna scarcely be saved. Okay, what about the wicked of our people? Okay, if the elect are going to scarcely be saved, what, what lies for the wicked of our people? The Lord shall judge his people. Okay, the first, you know, people that know that they're Israelites, they're going to be among the first to be judged. All right, and if the righteous, if it's going to look like the righteous is going to scarcely make it, then what, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? And that's why the scripture says in the Apocrypha, um, let me go ahead and pull that out real quick. All right. <clears throat> Um, second edge is the fifteenth chapter. Let me get that real quick. This is uh, second edge chapter fifteen, and let me start from the top. But the point is in verse three, right, and four. It says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy." Which what? What does the word prophesy mean? To say before. That's what it means. All right, to to declare what's going to happen before it actually happens, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're prophesying. All right, it says. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And it's not of our doing. This is the Lord, the words that the Lord is putting into our mouth to say what we say, man. Okay, so the Lord is putting these words into our mouth to, to have us go out there and prophesy. To put up these videos and prophesy. To declare what's going to happen before it actually happens, man. Alright? And one of the things that we're declaring, and I, you know, like I just read in Isaiah 66 and 15. How the Lord is going to return with fire and chariots like a whirlwind. And he's going to be angry, man. And he's going to judge. And a slain of the Lord is going to be many. See, we can't, we don't get bored of, of we're like, you know, um, we're like an alarm clock that keeps on going, even though you try to turn it off. All right. You know, it can be annoying. All right. When you go set your job, you set your alarm for your job to get up in the morning to go work for Esau, you know, that alarm, it can get annoying. It keeps going off, keeps going off. But every day you got to wait, wake up to the sound of the alarm, clock into work and go get your paycheck, man. Why right, you go 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 get paid, all right? But with this truth, hey, guess what? We're setting that alarm, but guess what? Jake is hitting the snooze button, 
All right? They're hitting the snooze button. So guess what? They're going to be fired, man. All right? They're about to receive the fire because the Lord is going to come back with fire. Okay? Which says, and cause them to be written in paper, paper, for they are faithful and true. All right? So the words and the scriptures are faithful and true, man. All right? It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble that it speak against thee. And the word incredulity goes back to unbelief. All right, so we are not to let the, the unbelief of those that speak against us phase us, man. We ain't supposed to let that. Because what, what did the scripture say? The scripture said that, um, uh, uh, blessed are ye when men shall revile you, man, and separate you from their company, so on and so forth. That's all right, okay? Because all the unfaithful are going to die. It's going to say that. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. So all these people, these unbelievers and these scoffers and these scorners, they're going to die in their unfaithfulness, man. And that's why I read the scripture. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what should the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? All right. And like I said, in order to, you know, get down with this truth and hear this word and understand this word, it's good. The word's got to be mixed with faith. And to prove that point, this is Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. <clears throat> All right. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith. In them that heard it. Alright. So this word has got to be mixed with faith. And faith is what? It says he, Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that's and the scripture says in Hebrews 11 and 6. That without faith it is impossible to please the Lord. Alright. It's actually impossible to please. Yahweh Yahweh If you don't have the gift of faith. Alright. It says for by grace are you saved through faith. And not that of yourselves. It is a gift of Yahweh man. It's a gift. All right, not of works, lest any man should boast. But yes, we show our faith by our works. Okay, the two go hand in hand, but it's not of works, lest any man should boast. This ain't, remember, these ain't our words that we're speaking. The Lord, the scripture says, man's goings are of the Lord. How then shall a man understand his own way? So the Lord is giving us the spirit to be able to go out there and say what we say. This ain't our program, this is the Lord's program. Okay, so it's not of works, lest any man should boast. Well, I've done this much videos over that man or this man that man it's not even of works bro because even if you're not of the elect all the works that you did guess what it's not even going to be remembered man the scriptures tell you that all right so this is about having the gift of faith and this is about sincerely repenting and believing yahweh bashim yahweh shai that the lord is actually going to come back and lay this place waste man all right and yahweh shai is going to come back in flaming fashion like we just read that in isaiah 66 okay and let's go to acts the first chapter um, ver and uh, the ninth verse, and when he had spoken these things, while they be while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And a cloud received who? Yahweh Shai out of their sight. He was speaking to the disciples, and pretty much a massive UFO just beamed up Yahweh Shai. All right, a so-called UFO. All right, and while they be while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up. Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which would be the two angels, okay, standing by the disciples. And they spoke to the disciples, it said, which also said, you men of Galilee, this is what they said. The angel said to the disciples, you men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? All right, this same Yahweh Shai, because his word is not Jesus, all right, the letter J only came about in the 1500s, so his name was not Jesus, okay, it is not Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, man, all right. It's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, right? He's a Hebrew Israelite himself. And he had a Hebrew name, has a Hebrew name. And it's Yahweh Shai, which means he, deliverer, okay? And there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved, man. The scriptures tell you that in Acts 4 and 12. And it, but in order for you to believe in that name, guess what? You've got to have faith in that name, all right? And that faith is a gift, like we read in Ephesians 2 and 8. Right, so the angels spoke to the disciples and said, Look, this same Yahweh Shai, why are you gazing into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, because he got beamed up. Right? The scripture says a cloud received him out of their sight. Right? It says, Taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So he's gonna come back. The same way that you see him went is the same way that it's coming back. Okay. And these scriptures, man, I love these scriptures. This is something that it's a dear topic unto me. I love speaking about the, the return of our Lord because that's something that we all should be thinking about every day. The return of Yahweh Shai and him coming back, you know, in, in, in fire and flaming vengeance, man. You know? 
to, to put, you know, to get us out of this captivity and put down our oppressors, man, which is headed by the so-called white man, Esau Edom. Okay? Because right now we're prisoners of war and we, the scriptures tell you that the captive exile hasteneth that he may be loosed. We're sighing and crying, you know, we're sighing and crying for all the abominations that are being pushed throughout the earth. You know, this place makes us sick. We're vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked out here. So we want to get out of here. So this is what we, hey, this is what we got to be meditating on. The return of our Lord. All right. In which we all ultimately, we know that prophecies have to play out in a certain sequence. You know, the RFID chip has to be made mandatory. All these things have to happen. Okay. World War Three, return of our Lord, man. You got, hey, our Lord is coming back. But guess what? Prophecies have to play out. Okay. And then when the Lord comes back, these other nations with Esau, they're going to try and fight against the Lord. Like the scripture says in 2nd Ezra 13, that they're going to be afraid and yet there's fight. Okay, it says, uh, Revelation 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. That's, that proves reincarnation. All right, because those that pierced Yahweh Shai on the cross about 2,000 years ago, right, they're going to be back here to receive the fury of the Lord. Okay. Now you try breaking that down to a Christian, they'll look at you like, they, you know, right, in them Christian churches, they look at you like you've got three heads. You tell them about reincarnation, about those that pierced him are going to receive their judgment and uh, when the Lord comes back. They'll look at you like you're crazy, man. Okay? But what does it mean? And you break it down to us then. Since you're so knowledgeable and so wise in the scriptures, you tell us what this means in Revelation 1 and 7. Okay? Because this is this account, this is, uh, this is by John the Revelator on the Isle of Patmos, man. Okay, and this is after the death of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so he said those which pierced him, right? All in and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so a man. So the, so John, you know, he received this vision, man. He said, What well, he's gonna come with clouds and every eye is gonna see him. That's why the, the angels told the disciples, you know, the same way that he went is the same way that he's coming back. Okay, the same way that he went is the same way he's coming back, man. Let's get um <clears throat> who maketh let's see who maketh the clouds his chariot. That's that's the one. Psalms 104 and 3. It says, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Alright? So sometimes you know, the, the so-called UFOs are known as a wheel within a wheel or a flying roll, like in a, uh, like in a Z uh, Zachariah, the fifth chapter, or um, a chariot or a cloud, all right? But it's letting you know that, guess what? In them chariots, there's gonna, you know, there's angels in those chariots, and we can prove that in Psalm 68 and 17 on down, I believe, all right? But it's letting you know that Yahweh Shai is going to come back in what the so-called white man calls UFOs, man. Sometimes they're called clouds, sometimes they're called chariots, all right? A, a, a cloud by a day and a pillar of fire by night, all right? Just like when we got saved out of Egypt, what, what, what did the Lord have over us? A cloud, a, a so-called UFO, a pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day, okay? Um, since I mentioned that, let's go ahead and get that Psalms. Psalm 68. All right, and, and and 17, proving what's, what's inside those chariots, right? <clears throat> it says the chariots of the Most High Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. So the, the Yahweh Shai is coming back with angels, man, an army, the host, the Lord of hosts, the armies of heaven. All right, that's what he's coming back with, man. The Armada, if you will. Hey, like my man Darkseed said in Justice League, what did he say? Ready the Armada. We will use the old ways. So he's about to make a move. So yeah, how was shy? He's about to make a move, man. And the scriptures speak about the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. All right. So the Lord ain't smiling up. You know, he ain't just you know kicking back, smiling. He wants to come. He wants to get down. The Lord is angry, bro. All right. Can you imagine? You know, the scriptures speak about a thousand years to us being a, a as a day to the Most High, right? Can you imagine? It's only been over what two two days that the Lord was crucified, man. All right. So you you can imagine. Imagine just being. You know, crucified two days ago, and them, them scoffers and scorners, you know, free Barabbas, they spat on Yahweh Shai, they buffeted him, they put a crown of thorns on his head, man. All of these things happened to the Lord. You think he's, he's, he's going to be happy? No, he's, he's going to be angry, man. All right? When he comes back. Okay? And, and the Lord, see, the world will, Esau will tell you that the Lord looks like a so called white man with blonde hair, blue eyes, and softly spoken, right? Well, people are going to be sadly mistaken. That's why the scripture says, 
and um, all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. When they see the Lord and the strangeness of the salvation of the elect, right? Because there's good and bad news, man. It's balanced. So false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Some people are going to be put to death and some people are going to be getting beamed up on them ships. In a strange salvation, man. All right? It says the Lord is among them as in Sinai in a holy place. So there's thousands of angels in them chariots, man. And the Lord is going to be among them when he comes back. In fact, let's go to Daniel 12 and 1. All right? It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, the archangel Michael's going to be with Yahweh Shai in these last days when he comes back. The great prince which standeth for the children and thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. Right? So the time of Jacob's trouble is coming upon the earth, a time like no other since there was a nation, man. All right? That's the time that we're coming into. And that's why, you know, knowing there for the terrors of the Lord do we persuade men. That's why we do this work. That's why we put it, put in that diligence, man, because we want to receive the exemption from judgment, the Thawa, spoken of in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, and the fourth verse. Okay? Because we want to be able to escape the time that's going to be like no other on the earth. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. There you go, right? Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So on one hand, the scripture said, the slain of the Lord shall be many. And on the other hand, thy people are going to be delivered. The elect, right? Those that, the eclectos, the handpicked and chosen by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? To receive everlasting life. Okay? Um, let me get another scripture real quick. <clears throat> Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. It says, seeing it is a righteous thing. With Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So we're going to get payback, man. All right. You best believe we're going to get that payback. But Yahweh Shai is going to get his payback first. Okay. As it is written, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, right? <clears throat> and to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord shall be revealed, right? Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with, with who? With his mighty angels, man. See, you see how these precepts are linking up. Yahweh Shai is coming back. You know, with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, you know. Uh, the, the chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is going to come back and be revealed from heaven with his what? Mighty angels. And he's going to come back to gather his elect. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of killing, but there's going to be saving as well for the elect, man. Good news for the elect, bad news for the wicked of our people and the other nations. All right, it's in, in flaming fire. All this talk of fire, man. All right, all this talk of fire, how the Lord is going to come back with fire. Okay, that's all up in the scriptures. That's why we, I said Amos 8, 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, man. He's going to come back with fire. He's not going to, as a pure force, the Lord is going to come back. We just read that in Matthew 24. You know, pure power. In flame and fire, taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh, right? And that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the from the glory of his power. All right. So the Lord is coming back as a force, man, in glorious power. And we can't wait. This, this, hey, this, that should keep you ticking, man. Like every day that should make, that should push you every day to keep going harder and harder in the faith, harder in his truth. You know, just that thought of Yahweh Shai coming back and, and getting revenge on our enemies alone. You know, that should be enough to keep you going. If you meditate that on it every day, that's a good thing to meditate upon, man. The destruction of this place and, you know, the arrival of Yahweh Shai, man, and the, the, the beginning of righteousness flowing throughout the earth. That's going to be a beautiful time period, man. All right? And even now, it's making me smile, man. Even now, when I think about, when I think about Yahweh Shai returning, I, you know, it puts a smile on my face, you know? Because, you know, we ain't got nothing in this world, man. As the scripture said, the fashion of this world passeth away, all right? The fashion of this world passes away. America, you know, America, Babylon the Great is about to be turned into a lake of fire. It's done. Esau is about to be put into captivity and the other nations, man. All right. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's that recompense tribulation to those that troubled us, man. All right. So wait upon Yahweh Shai, man. He's going to come back and do his will, man. All right. This is um, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, right? Which means righteous anger. That's the word indignation. Even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. 
All right. So with that, man, I pray you were edified. The Lord, hey, he said, wait ye upon me. They don't mean take up arms and use Esau's blessing, start patrolling with his guns. and Because at the end of the day, Esau, his, his blessing is the sword, man. He's got all kinds of technology, drones and all this stuff. So guess what, man? We need Yahweh to come back with the angels, man. We need divine intervention, if you will. All right. So the Lord is going to do his determination, man. And he's going to gather the nations and pour upon them his indignation. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of his jealousy, man. So, hey, that's something that we, we look forward to. All right. And that's something that we can um, we can openly say and declare, man, and prophesy about. Right. And Esau's downfall, you know. And that makes us happy, man. And that makes Esau sad. Anything that makes Esau sad makes us happy, man. All right. So, hey, man. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it there. Till the next time I say Shalom.